I'm Katie O'Connell. I'm a fourth year medical student at Wayne State School of Medicine. Uh, I've been rotating at Henry Ford all year for my third year. And uh, I've been involved in Dr. Scott Dolchevsky's ultrasound program for, this is going on the fourth year now, um, through Henry Ford. And um, I am about to go on a trip to Devon Island. Uh, and we're taking the ultrasound up to Devon Island um, that's in the Arctic Circle and it's the environment there is pretty similar to what you would expect on Mars and um, there's a project there called Houghton Mars uh, Institute and they do a lot of experiments up there with different groups um, simulating space conditions and stuff mostly like Mars, what you would expect to find on Mars. We're trying to take ultrasound to remote areas of the world, um, such as Sub-Saharan Africa, places where there's not many doctors available or hospitals are 100 miles away. Um, also places like the International Space Station or potentially Mars, where there is no doctor available as well, to help diagnose injuries, that occur in these places, and then they can be beamed via satellite to a place where a doctor can appropriately read the images and diagnose. There's two arms of the project um, that we're going to be doing. One is autonomous ultrasounding, um, and that means going up there with the ultrasound, along with some learning modules and cue cards that have been developed by Dr. Lachavsky and the team at Henry Ford, um, and just having someone who's never done ultrasound before go through the learning module and use the cue cards and attempt to ultrasound scan based on just that. Um, and we're going to save those images and back in Detroit we're going to evaluate the quality of the images that were obtained by these non-ultrasound users. Um, so that is one part of the project and the second part is the remote guidance ultrasounding. So we're going to hook up to the satellite and through the satellite we're going to acquire internet uh, connection and via UVU on the internet we're going to be scanning with the ultrasound and back here in Detroit over UVU they're going to be able to see the ultrasound image as well as so hear my this voice. Is, um, the Beacon GPS, it connects to a satellite and it establishes our internet connection for us, um, which is connected to a laptop. And the laptop is connected to a little um, piece here called an Epifan. And this product converts the ultrasound image so that it can be seen on the laptop. This here is the ultrasound that we'll be taking to Devon Island. It's really small, and it's smaller than a laptop even, so it's easily portable. And this is a probe, and you just use some gel on a patient, and you put the probe on the patient's skin and scan using the probe.